Coco Golf versus Maria Sakri is a second semi-final for the ladies Indian Wells for 2024. And both have had different roads to get to this stage. Sakri entered the tournament as the number nine seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Schneider. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 5-7, 6-4, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on the 20th seed Garcia. Very tricky opponent. So no problem for Sakri getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-4. In the fourth round, she'd take on Parry, who'd taken out Fernandez along the way. And after dropping the second set, Sakri would fight back to win. 6-2, 3-6, 6-3. To the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sakura would take on the 23rd seed Navarro, who'd just taken out Sabalenka in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 5 7 6 2 6 4 to advance to another semi final in Indian Wells. Goff entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Burrell. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 2 6 6 3 7 6. In the third round, she'd take on Bronzetti. And after a close second set, Goff would get through in straights 6 2 7 6. In the fourth round, she'd take on Mertens, who had just beaten Naomi Osaka in the previous round. Round. There's no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6 love, 6 2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Goff would take on the unseated Yuan, who'd been on a win streak since Austin the week before. There's no problem for Goff getting through in straights. 6 4, 6 3 to advance to the semi finals. These two have played seven times before with Zachary leading the head to head. However, Goff has won their last two matches, both of them happening on the hard courts last year, and both of those being in straight sets. If Zachary's going to win this one, she doesn't keep this aggression that she's got with this new coach. The new coach, David Witt, is doing wonders for her game in such a short amount of time as well. So you need to keep that aggression and push Goff around. Maybe even come to the net and add some variety. If Goff's going to win this one, she needs to eliminate double faults. She hit so many double faults in her previous match. Luckily, she got the win anyway, but that's not going to fly when she plays Sakri. So she's got to eliminate those double faults, serve well, and hit big forehands. What a fun matchup. We've seen these two play so many times over the last couple of seasons. Sakri's playing so well. Goff also trying to make a final here for the first time. But I've got to go with Sakri in this one. I just think Sakri, the way she's playing at the moment, especially at India Wells, I'm going to over the upset win. And I think she's going to beat Goff in three sets. Goff's serve is a real worry for me. So I'm going to go with Sakri, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.